Hi guys, this is another YouTube for solving smart physics problem. And this time this problem is the 2C and L circuit. Okay, it took me a long a long time to do it, but let's see how it's gonna go now. Okay, so the first question is asking what is the omega? What is the omega of this circuit that you can see here? It has two capacitor and one inductor in it. And this is the current that's going down from here. So what's the rule for this one? It's one over square root of LC. Okay. So when you do this, it's one over square root of. And then the L we have it, it's 396 mH. And the capacitors is... 1 over C, it's in series, so you're going to add them, it's in, yeah, it's in series, so 1 over C, 1 over C total, <coughs> so it's going to be C1, C2 over C1 plus C2, okay, so then we'll get the omega after it, this is the omega that we're going to get, so question number 2, they're asking about what is Q1, T1, the charge on the capacitor, C1 at time equal T equal T1. And T1 is 23.7 millisecond. <coughs> okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to use this rule. So Q, T equal Q max cosine plus phi. So this was kind of the problem with me here because I was solving it without doing like paying attention to this thing but how do you figure out this this part? Okay what they gave us is that at time equal zero we have I max okay I max was 0.202 Ampere. Okay. And then what's the rule for the I? The I, T, is when you differentiate this one, you'll get I max, and then this is minus, and then sine omega T plus phi. Okay. So what you want to do is we can look here that because we have the I max it's positive okay and at time equals zero this this term should be one because this is going to be equal one and the actual should be minus one because we need this to be positive since this is positive this is the initial conditions so so since at time equals zero this is going to be zero so sine by, and we need this to be minus 1 so how okay, can we do that so we need sine v to be or pi need to be minus pi over 2 okay so this is the phi okay so we'll go through this qt and then q max is just i max over omega and cosine t minus pi over 2. Okay. Substitute everything you have and then you will get the answer. This is negative, don't forget. Then the omega, you'll get it from here. I max you have it and the omega will be the same here. Alright. The third question is asking about the what is VBC time equal 1, which is the time we have the voltage across the inductor at time equal 23.7 millisecond okay, they're asking about that so so we can use this equation we'll differentiate this one, we'll get 
I T equal equal minus I max sine omega T minus pi over two. We use the same phi here because it's the same one here. Okay, so what is the voltage across the inductor right here? This is the voltage we're looking for. So if we go back here, the voltage is for the inductor is L di over dt. Okay. So this is the i, and then we're gonna differentiate this one now. So the L will be L times when you differentiate this part, it will be negative, and then I max. The sine will go to cosine. W T minus I over two, and then differentiate the inside of it, which is omega. So we get V L equal to minus L W I max cosine omega T minus pi over 2. Alright, just plug in the numbers you have and you'll get the answer. Uh, what other thing I want to say? Okay, let's go to number 4 then. 4 because it's like a time question, so I'm just going to give you the answer. I'm not sure if it's right or no, but let's see. So what is Q1 max So the charge on the capacitor one, and because they are both in series, here yeah, both in series, so it's not going to matter. Both of them might have the same charge. So going back here, the Q max is just I max over over the omega, and here you go. You got the answers for all these equations. And I hope it did help. I hope I didn't confuse you as always. I'm just a student like you. So, good luck, buddy.